by the Des Moines Register. Senator Marco Rubio is out on the trail in the Hawkeye State. Senator Rubio goes on the record from Ankeny, Iowa. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Thanks for having me, Greta. Glad to have you. So you got the Des Moines Register, the coveted uh, endorsement from the state newspaper there, or one of the state newspapers. So tell me, you're also on the trail today with Senator Joni Ernst, um, but she didn't endorse you, uh, but she went out with you to campaign. Right. What should we read into that? Well, first, she promised the people of Iowa she would not be endorsing, and I respect that very much. But we're glad to have her with us. You know, the issue of national security is one that I care about deeply, and she talked about how she trusted me on that, which is the most important thing a president does, is to be commander-in-chief. And I also, you know, I'm very proud to, to be Joni's friend, to have supported her in the primary when she was running in a competitive field, because to me, she represents so much of what I hope the Republican Party will be about in the 21st century. So we were glad to have her with us, and it really was a boost to us earlier this morning when a lot of Iowans turned out to to hear her introduce me. All right, let me turn to another U.S. senator who's not so happy with you tonight, your competitor, Senator Ted Cruz, because uh, there was a statement made to you about a former client that he had, his firm had, in the Court of Appeals. And as I understand it, it was a Chinese company, had a battle with a, an American inventor. The American inventor won, and the Chinese company took it up on appeal, and that's when they hired the firm where Senator Cruz worked at the time, and you have somehow used that politically against him. Fair? I don't think that's fair. So explain to me why I'm wrong. What is fair? First of all, Ted goes around talking about how tough he's going to be on China, but here are the facts. There was an American inventor who, by the way, is from Florida, and he came up with a product, and the Chinese company stole it and knocked it off and started selling it on their own. So he sued them. They laughed at him, by the way, when he sued them. They told him he was never going to win, that they were going to hire the best lawyers. He did win. And then they hired Ted Cruz's firm to appeal, and he was the lead counsel on the case. And so he represented a Chinese company that had stolen secrets from an American inventor. He represented the Chinese company against the American inventor. And this is part of a broader problem, which is Ted says one thing on some issues, but really his record is something different. And on this particular issue, this is a massive problem. Chinese companies like these are stealing billions of dollars from American inventors and American businesses, and uh, this needs to stop. Is, is, was he really the lead counsel? I read that he wasn't the lead counsel. He made no appearance in court, which would, you know, would certainly make a, a difference to me. He was the counsel of record on all the documents, and uh, I can tell you this. I mean, I, I would not have represented them in that case. I, in a case where a Chinese company has had a $20 million judgment against them for stealing an invention from an American inventor, you know how often this is happening? You can't do that and then go around saying how tough you're going to be against China. So again, one more example of Ted Cruz being calculated about these issues. You know, he says one thing, but, but then made money as an attorney representing a Chinese company who stole the secrets of an American inventor. All right. Well, I, I actually, you and I will probably disagree, uh, agree to disagree on this because I think it's so distant and so far away. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm, uh, on, you know, a lawyer representing someone in the court of appeals and isn't even the lawyer argued it, but you and I will disagree on that one. All right. Um, Iowa, what's the question you could ask the most when you're out by the uh, voters? I think voters really want to make sure that we're going to beat Hillary Clinton. Voters in Iowa and across the country recognize that we cannot afford to have another four years like the last seven. And I am as conservative as anyone in this race, but I am the conservative that can unite the Republican Party and attract new people to the conservative cause. Go to millions of people across this country who are living the way I grew up who come from where I come from, working class background, and explain to them why I'm a conservative and why they need to be conservatives too. And if we do that, we're going to win this election. I believe that I give this party the best chance to defeat Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders and put in place a president that will do what I will do, and that is undo all of the damage that Barack Obama has done to this country, both here at home and our standing in the world. And so we hear that often from voters all across Iowa. Senator, thank you for joining us, and good luck, because I know what, uh, you're going to have a busy couple days out there, real busy. Thank you, sir. Thank you.